Bit of a dirty lens again, let's sort that out. Oh, that's better, isn't it? Right. Right. Starting off the night with a bit of a problem. Problem is, I didn't turn the tap on the top of the keg, went to pour a pint and it went whoosh, and it filled my glass up. Not so much of a problem because this video is, should be landing tomorrow on the channel. It's one of the most splendid German Pilsners I've ever drank on the channel, ever. It's just fabulous. So, um, thank you all so very much for watching. Can we hit the like button down below? There he is, Big Kev. Um, Big Kev, we're back on a, on a Thursday night, Thursday night live. Um, can you hit the like button down below? Let's get this Thursday night live stream up and running. We've got 41 people in. Hit the like button down below. Let's um, see how many likes we can hit and get and do. Um, so currently we have six. Whitley Wanderer, Owl, William. Uh, we got eight likes so far. Can we hit that like button down below? We want to get as many people in on a Thursday night as we can. I'm really looking forward to this Thursday night because it means I can have a little bit of a... I've been doing a lot of stuff on the channel lately and I'm looking forward to like relaxing on I've been painting as well, look, paint everywhere. Hi, so I'm Steve, Jeffrey, Matty, how are we doing? So 21 likes, 21 likes to the Stone Crow Virtual Pub. Can we do 30? Hit the like button down below for 30 likes. And whilst you do that, I'll fill my pint up. I'm gonna keep this in the fridge. I'm worried it's gonna get like warm out here. 23 likes, hit the like button down below. Hit the like button down below for 30 likes. Why are we doing this on a Thursday evening, mate? Matt Taverner. Um, because, because um, I kind of realised that summer has hit. It always happens around Easter time. Summer hits, Easter hits, everybody's out. Friday, everyone's out and about. We're all back to normal now. Everyone's out drinking, having a good time, going to the pub having more of a good time, going out for meals. It's Friday night, we've all been in work all week. And it just, what I found was, Easter time, it just, it just kind of like, just yeah, a little bit, just, just. So Thursday, it's still a work night, isn't it? So Thursday, we call this the last effort. I might change the name of the pub to the last effort, just for this Thursday night. Because it means if you have got work in the morning, it's your last effort. Um, if you do a nine to five, which I'm not sure if many people do these days. Right, we ne we nearly got 100 people in. We got 31 likes. Butcher Banyan. Hey, so I've been meaning to ask if the Celestian speakers were from the flea market off Newport Road. Yes, they were. Great vintage audio section in there. And I looked at some very similar speakers myself. They're probably them ones. They are probably them ones. Um, Shall I... Shall I go around and take the nice brewery jumper, Simon? Yes, yes, brewery, uh, brewery the Dr. Van der Coroner. Thursday, yak, Thursday is the new Friday. Thursday is the new Friday because everyone's out on Fridays and we just want to pick things up on the Stone Crow Virtual Pub. So do you mind, enjoy your summer with the family, mate. We understand, cheers. Um, oh, well, we'll be doing it on a, on a Thursday night for... Um, for as long as we can, really. What, what, I, what I find is I don't want to get it into a position where, like, I'm forcing myself to do it. If I start to do that, then the live streams are going to get very... They're not going to be the same, are they? Etch glass. Yes, it certainly is. Uh, raining tonight. Nice background noise. All the same. I love it. Yeah, it is. Big Kev. Do you want to see? Do you wanna, I've got to clean my roof, Big Kev i got to clean that. But yeah, look, there's the... Matty. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, yeah. I got another video. I don't know whether to, what to post tomorrow. I don't know whether to post that video or the blooming pizza I got from Iceland. 
it was Carolina Reaper. It was just said like warning hot sauce. I took one bite. I nearly melted. Roy, Roy's in, Roy's in. Um, or I got another video that I could post where I do the hot sauce that Roy sent me. We got some amazing, amazing beers. Um, I'll tell you a story. So I was at the Head of Steam, which is a pub chain, last year for my birthday. And we're in the Head of Steam. And my wife was like, let me buy you this beer for your birthday. It was a big bottle of Delirium Red. Shall I go, um, Delirium Black, sorry, shall I go and get it? So my wife said to me, I'm going to buy you this for your birthday. But she was, she didn't have much money at the time. She'd already bought me a present. And I was like, oh, no, no, save your money, save your money. Um, I'll get it one day. Because I was looking at this on the bar. Like, ooh, that looks a bit special. That looks a bit special. That looks really nice. So I convinced her because she was dead. She wanted to buy this beer for me. And I was like, you're a bit short on, don't, don't worry about it. I'm all right. You know, we don't have to, uh, even Simon, nobody out tomorrow, Simon. I've seen the weather and everyone's, I know, Bob Ag. It's a bit like tonight, isn't it? Um, weather's bonkers, isn't it? Is anybody suffering with the weather? Is anybody actually suffering now with the weather? It's really getting to me. It's really, really getting to me. Um, anyway, so well, we opened up this parcel from... Yes, suffering. Hello from Brazil. Um... Bom, bom, bom. Roy, Roy, Roy uh, sent us this lovely parcel from the Netherlands. Um, I've reviewed the hot sauce. I've also reviewed the Joppen Rye IPA. Oh my goodness me, what a beer that is. Absolutely fantastic. So they come in. It's not weather. It's, yeah, I've been in Mallorca and it's been warm and windy. Paul Greenwood. Um, visited Duration Taproom Easter Sunday. They're smashing it at the moment. Lovely people, give us a tour to not far from your mates at Beers of Europe, see if they can send you some sign. Duration, I'm sure I've done some of the duration stuff. Uh, nice, nice beer. Long story short, then we got some great stuff coming to the channel. So, what I'm thinking, I asked Matt if she wanted to review this with me, and, I, and it's a nice 450 mil. Co um, 750 ml coke and cage bottle and she's going to review this with me soon this is a very very special special beer it's 11.5 percent abv it's a real beauty and i've been after it for a long long time so i don't want to put it somewhere where i'm going to knock it over because i've had too much to drink you know that sort of thing so put it down there out the way um so we've got a good few things coming to the channel, really. We've got this keg, this 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 um, mini, mini beer review for you. Look at the lacing on the glass. Look at that carbonation. This, this, this Pilsner is called Waldhouse Diplom Pils. And it's a, it's a super premium, super premium beer. It's the bee's knees. It's absolutely fantastic. It's clean, crisp, oh, it's beautiful. Was it the scarily hot pizza, Big Kev? It was. Don't buy it, Big Kev. I had two bites. <laughs> Oh. Uh, evening all Jack Lyons uh, Evening all Matt Williams Here in Swansea the weather has been terrible Keith Charles I, I, It's um, it's bad isn't it It's really bad uh, Looks cool, look forward to the review um, 
Hello from Brazil. Yeah, we got lots of comments coming in. Lots and lots of comments. Uh, this is surprise. I dug out a can of Kingslayer by Bucks and direct from the brewery, Paul Greenwood. Um, yeah, so can we do 55 likes? 55 likes of the Stone Crow Virtual Pub. Hit the like button down below. Seven more likes to go. Seven more likes to go at the Stone Crow Virtual Pub. Come on, hit the like button down below. Let's go, let's go. Let's do it. 49 likes. Let's just do 50 then. Um, hi, Simon. Mark here in the west of Ireland. Love the lives. Uh, lashing rain here in Galway. In and out of the pub. Shed. Trying to get stuff done. Weather is so depressing at the moment. It's... um. Mark Callaghan, I, I just... Uh, it's... It's altering my mood. You know, like, last year I was, like, talking ultra positive. Like, I'm going to stay positive. Everything's going to be great. Really positive. Blah, blah. I, it, for me, I'm not sure if I'm going a bit mad here, but it feels like it's been raining since October. Has anybody else had that feeling that it's been raining since October? And... I just want some sun on my face. The bits of sun you got on you. You know when the cloud breaks, you get a bit of sun on your face, you're like, oh, this is bliss, and then it goes away again. <laughs> I'm drinking Death by Cherries, vocation which has made its way into Tesco. Lovely flavour, wish it was more sour though. Um, Jack Lyons as it has, yeah, it's been raining since October. Um, I, I wish it was a bit more sour to the vocation beer. I really do. Oh, it's beautiful. It's funny though, isn't it? Because it's like, it's 12 minutes in and I've nearly drank a pint already. It's one of those beers that'll fly down. Off tomorrow on the Gossam Marzen tonight. Cool, Lee Griffin. Can't remember seeing the sun here in Hereford rain constantly. Hmm. <coughs> Jack Lyons is drinking Vice the Fan, a hell's excellent beer. There he is, the nerd emotion. John, I've been thinking about you, mate. I've been thinking, uh, I was, you know, one of those situations where I'm like, I'm going to pick up the phone, I'm going to pick up the phone in two minutes, I'm just going to finish doing this, and then, and then I'm going to pick up the phone, and then I just like, four hours has gone by. <laughs> Hello, you big, lovely. Well, <laughs> nerdy emotion. How you doing, John, mate? Um, hope I bump into you in Wales sometimes for a beer. My sister lives in lives in Church Village. Enjoy your videos, drinking a triple caramel. Eh? Thanks to that live you did before. Cheers. Uh, Keith Charles is asking, what is the ABV on the... It's something like come from Craft Direct, company like that. Um, it's 4.9, 4.9% ABV, 5 litre mini keg. Uh, um, I agree with everything you said. Your live show brightens up your evenings. Mark Callaghan, thank you very much. Paul went out for the homies, drinking Jack's Dry Stout at 9% ABV. Tastes good on the back end. Good brain working, enjoy. Look at that. Got the lacing on that. It's just, this is amazing Pilsner. So I got some good videos to come. Got some really good videos to come. It's definitely feeling warmer just with the rain, even up here. Now, it is. I think we've broken the back now, haven't we, of the cold. That makes a difference. Um, oh, Neil Long with a five pound super chat. Uh, evening, mate. Did you manage to hand down any more of the bottles of the... <clears throat> Millennium Beers, um, beer review of the year already. Oh, did you like that, Neil? Thanks very much for the super chat, Neil Long. Um, I've kept the box, it's up on my shelf up there. What an amazing, like, all of the packaging. A beer brewed to be aged and opened in the year 2000. It was fantastic. It really was fantastic. Uh, they got bought out by Badger, and then Badger closed them down. Uh, Cicero says, my mum loves your wallpaper. She wanted me to tell you, fella. It's, I picked it up in B&Q. 
Picked it up in B&Q. Uh, Mate is all good. Uh, I thought the same thing this week, but it's been challenging to do my HV class one training this week. I bloody failed today. 470 from for very tight. Oh. Oh, I hope you're right with that, John. Keep going, mate. Keep going. Keep pushing, man. Honestly. We'll ring. If you got time tomorrow, give me a ring. We'll chat. It's been too long, mate. Give me a ring. Uh, Keith Charles, nice. Uh, big Kev's talking about nerdy motion. motion. Uh, did you used to play World of War? Uh, gonna try that, Carolina Reaper. Oh, I, I bungled the second, don't. Honestly, it's in my food bin. I had, I don't want to spoil the review, but I literally just went, I can't do this. I can't do this. I don't know, I'm a bit puffed out. I'm a bit puffed out. I need to suck in some air. <sighs> suck in some air into my lungs and find something. Find something to push on, you know? Big Kevin here along in the house. Uh, it's awesome. It's like old times. Yes, 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 yes. It's like old times. Um, Stone Crow Virtual Pub. Thursday Night Live. What am I drinking? It says Love. I'm drinking a walled house. Um, Diplom Pills. Super premium. It's fantastic. Uh, Bunga, that's a lovely spread. Simon, what's the next town you're going to visit him for the pub crawl? Sean, waiting for it to stop raining. Kitchen units are up. What do you think? Do you like the quality? I painted it. I got my hot air gun. Finish the last ones today. Ooh, a blooming neck, man. Got my knocking everything on the floor. I uh, got my hot air gun and my stripper, and I turned it on, and I got around the edges of the. See these edges here. Got around the edges with a heat gun. Burnt them off. Like so. And then the front of the door just peeled off. So we've gone from these kitchen units here, we're on the, we're on the back wall of the house in the corner. Um, so my wife chose the color uh, and they're, they're old units. So all of the, did you see the damp? They were really, really damp, the backboards. And I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna paint them. I'm just gonna paint, and, and to be honest, It is, it is, it is, it is, it is. So um, I put up some speakers. Do you want to see? Do you want to see my speakers? I got to put up some Celestians. There you go. So that's a that's a twelve inch, that's a twelve inch driver, Celestian Titan speakers, all rigged up in this rather lovely bang and all. So I paid forty five quid for this. Forty five quid. The sound, the sound. Literally, I'm in a small conservatory. I had um, Eurythmics on. Sweet dreams. Oh. Either on Sunday, just just a couple of songs, and it was like perfect, absolutely perfect. I can't play a tune. I'll lose all the monetization. It'll all go out the window. It's be a monster o'clock. So everything's old. Everything's old. Everything's old. Secondhand stuff. I love my old secondhand stuff. It's all from flea markets. The lid's broken. Does anybody know how? Now, I try to do it with a bit of washing wire, washing, um, I fed some washing line all the way down there and I tried to, to clip, because the clips are still there. The, the clips are still in place and I just tried to feed this in 
this bit of washing line and then because it's meant to it's meant to flick up like that it's just meant to flick up like that but um if i can't fix it but it's not i mean i don't use the tape player anyway i, I only use a record player you've got the volume here anyway volumes there and everything else is there but um yeah it all works it all works really well they would be nice for a house party honestly it's um <coughs> see the little timber edge there i'm thinking of painting that gray as well the the white off-white gray color as well yeah so but i keep the cover on because the sun comes around in the afternoon blasting and i'm wondering if the sun will break the speakers I'll be turning to a rapper, yeah. Uh, big Kevin's a lot, I know. But listen to this, you don't know, need to have a scan, it will be worth it. Uh, now you can battle. <laughs> uh, well, um, no, I, I, I think, um, I think not. I think, I think, no, I, I'm not going to, like, you know, no, I'm not going to. i just play it nicely, not, not when we have a barbecue. They're loud. And the, the amp, apparently these Bang & Olufsen's have really good amps in them as well to drive the speakers. And I, I just, I can't even get it past halfway, it's too loud. So those speakers are... Fantastic. Jason Finn. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Uh, you got yourself a good deal for those speakers. Vintage speakers and record players are worth big money now. I know. So I paid so um, 45 for this. And then I paid £100 for the needle for the record player and those speakers. So the, the, if you go on eBay, the needles for these speakers are £100 on their own. So I spent... £100 on the speakers and the needle and £45 on the Bang & Olsen. I was chuffed, absolutely chuffed. These b and make some beautiful creamy sounds. Oh, it's really good. Wet in Wales. Put on the barbecue Saturday, Simon. Am I putting on the barbecue Saturday? Well, if it's not raining, yeah, absolutely. Am I joking, mate? I hope everything is okay. Yeah, it's all, it's all okay. It's all okay. Um, Hobgoblin Golden Ale for me tonight. Enjoyed the recent review of it, Simon. James... Brilliant. I'm going to I'm going to pour myself a pint. I'm going to pour myself a pint and then I'm going to go and put the keg back in the fridge because I don't want it warming up. So what are you guys drinking? Right, I'm just going to run and put this keg in the fridge. I'll be two seconds. Hello, Lewis, how are we doing? Uh, this guy needs a doctor. Do I? I hope not. Um, I just had two HB original, now I'm on the Kronbacher. Oh, are you? You're on the, you're on the gym and stuff as well. Uh, amazing, near the motion. I drink a left prune. Uh, got my first cake of quack amber tonight, Stephen and Oh, um, I, I had the quack, the Pavel quack last summer. My goodness me. It was one of those beers on the Philips Perfect Draft. One of those beers, blooming heck. Like, I'd have one, it was 8% ABV. I had one, I, got, I, I put some new windows in the front of the house and they open up like doors. So I, let, I sat, little tiny bit of a view 
if you put out your head out the window and like turn right a little bit, little slither of a view over, over past the houses. So I sat on the window, having a having a beer last summer with a, a you know, I just, it was so hot that I was in the front of the house away from the sun. Um, and I drank one. I was like, oh yeah, this is nice. And then I was like, oh, I'll have another one. You know, like I start, I, I start and I start drinking and I'm like, well, what are we now? 25. I drank a pint in what, 20 minutes? I was doing 20 minute pints. Uh, 20 minute pints. And and before I knew it, I was like, it's, it's bedtime. <coughs> it's, it, it's fallen over juice. It really was. Um, John, uh, I got some news, um, if you're still there, uh, Nerd in Motion. Um, I am up with, I'm up in York in a week or two. Week, I, I, I need to find the dates. York, Brew York Craft Beer Festival, celebrate anniversary thing, celebration, eighth, uh, one of their birthdays. Um, I am up, I am up in a hotel in York um for that very thing so if you're if you're about i know you came all the way to cardiff and uh, i i I, was, I don't know what i was doing when i was doing something wasn't i um but yeah i, I, I if you want to have a beer in york let's have a beer in york there he is simon wood yeah, thank you very much, uh, John. Uh, Simon Wood, evening all. Evening, 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 Simon Wood. How you doing? How you doing? As you can see, we've um, we've manicured the, the bar a little bit. Paul Gota drinking Mad Squirrel Aztec Mountain IPA. Uh, nice one, Simon. I'm on a glass too of... No, um, quack. Wowzer. I am... Steve Allen, I mean, it, it, be careful because it just catches up with you. Lowell's, uh, Lowell is on the triple camel, eh? ADC, hello ADC, how you doing? Um, Love says, I can appreciate this triple camel, but probably won't buy it often. I've been enjoying these Peroni Capris recently. They're £3 for three in B&M. Steinhauser, my go-to lag at the moment. Oh, Steinhauser's fantastic, isn't it? Really good. DBUK is drinking a cup of tea. My missus would kick off. I drink on a weekday. Oh, I haven't stopped. I haven't stopped. I, I, since bank holiday, I've been absolutely flat out. Uh, by the time I get done drinking this, I won't be able to move. Wonderful. America's favourite hoarder. Uh, it is looking lovely. Thank you very much, Simon Wood. I was busy protesting with a while. Yeah, <laughs> you were. It's all good. You've covered up the chickens. I have, yeah. Uh, hi, someone just put a pint of Cronenberg. Chron Cheers. Big up. Yes, big up, Wales. Uh, Simon uh, Wood, you blooming legend, says nerd in motion. Is Hoe Garden better on the perfect draft than the bottles? Um, probably. I had 80s Morantz. Oh, Morantz, yes, because... Uh, were given to me as a child. I saw them for three hundred pounds. Morant's are brilliant. The American company Morant's, and they. I do like my vintage. I do. Um, I want. They're expensive though. They're really expensive, but they're beautiful. Oh, what's the name of the? They like float. It's another Scandinavian record player company. I really. It's a beautiful, beautiful bit of kit. It's Tanberg. Is it a Tanberg record? They look fantastic. Really, really lovely, lovely. I mean, I like this. I like this. But the Tanberg. The Tanberg. I think it was called Tanberg. Oh, Simon Woody. It's just the most amazing, amazing. Beauty. It's like, it's like a, a thing of beauty. Well, I was just talking, Simon Wood, before you came. That I picked up this Bang & Olufsen. B.O. Centre 5000 with some Celestian Ditton um, speakers. I remember having Denon and Technics. Oh, yeah, yeah, I love, I love it all. Love, love all. Do you know, the thing with the digital age now is it's all a bit boring, isn't it? Do you agree? 
It's all a little bit boring. Our house was filled with Sonos's. My wife bought all the Sonos things. We got another, we got one there. That should be... Can't quite see, it's just out of view. The, the little Sonos speakers, and she bought the sound bar, and she bought the big one. It, 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 it's a bit boring. When you go to these vintage record places, like in flea markets, second-hand places, Sonos is good if you invest enough. No, we got the good, we got the good stuff. We have got the good stuff, Simon Wood. My, my wife bought it. But when you go to flea market, when you see how things were, like. Don't you miss things like this, big old massive speakers? When I see, I simply had to have them. They were second hand, they were only cheap-ish. I had to have them, I was like, they look amazing. They look like incredible. And I thought, I have to have these. Paul, I'm doing good, Papa. Fading away, should be class one. Ah. Uh, it's blowing as hell, my first CD was Yes 90210 and I couldn't believe the sound. Uh, we have a Sonos being better off with a two-in-one stereo, says Matt Madden. Uh, the Google Chrome Alexa ruined home stereo systems. <coughs> <coughs> really did. So, um, do you know what my prediction is? My prediction is cassettes are going to make a flying comeback anytime soon. The CD and the cassette killed the record. The record has made a relatively decent comeback. But my prediction is, and you can you can pick them up. You can pick it all up in second-hand markets for like 50p a cassette. I think I think cassettes might make a bit of a comeback, you know. Albums are still better than CDs. Yeah, yeah, records, yeah. Do you ever listen to Garage? Uh, no, to be honest, it's not my cup of tea, personally. Bit, bit more David Bowie, Eurythmics, Guns N' Roses, you know, the, 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 the old, little bit older stuff. People want convenience now. There is no way an iPhone is a better camera than a 10-year-old Nikon manual. Uh, absolutely, Simon Wood, absolutely. Remember remember those wonderful um, Kodak? Was it Kodak, the pictures? You used to have made up in the shop. They were beautiful, glossy, lovely. Yeah, cassette is definitely coming back. My kids are fascinated by it. And that's the thing. That's the thing. The kids, they just don't understand it. And you can record as well. Uh, cassettes, not eight tracks. Sony cassette workman, yellow one from the 1990s. Yeah. No way cassettes are making a comeback. I'll eat my hat if it does. Um, and then Love says, any would I recommend any pubs in Cardiff? I like the cottage. I... If, if ever I had visitors, I'd, I had visitors at Christmas and um, I took them to the City Arms, which is all right. But then when we went to the cottage, uh, my brother-in-law was really impressed. He really liked the cottage, it was really cool. Yeah, I like it in there, it's good. Uh, I still have a Sony Professional Portable Tape Recorder. Can't fault it, Simon Wood. I still got a Sony Walkman with Duran Duran Radio Cassette. Brilliant. Uh, I, uh, Jeremy, sorry, I can't play any music, unfortunately, not on the live stream. I think the public are getting bored of this digital era and starting to move back towards 90s, 2000 time. The, the trouble is, is that it may be too, like... I, I know, like, the world is a supply and demand thing, but um, do you ever get the feeling, and I know this is a hot topic, or it was about a month or so ago, um, John was very much kind of, like, invested in it, talking about it. Um, do you ever get the feeling that we're, like, being being very much, like, into, into EVs? It seems that way, didn't it? Um, I looked at second-hand cars. I looked at a second hand on the weekend, Volkswagen up for my wife. Crazy money, crazy money. Like for an old 
for you're talking thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds. You can't, it wasn't that long ago. I think it was the scrappage scheme. There was a scrappage scheme about 10 years ago that took a load of old cars off the road. I think the scrappage scheme was the start of of getting rid of old cars. Uh, oh, there's a word you were looking for. And I think, I think, even if cassettes and CDs wanted to make a comeback, I don't think the our people upstairs will let us like. I don't think, I don't think, it, 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 we're, you know, we're living in a very environmental world, aren't we? And they don't want a billion, million cassettes being made again. And, and a billion, million records out of plastic. They want it all in the air, don't they? He sells it down on this time last year, second-hand car market, it's crazy now. That's the thing, love. That's the thing. The second-hand car market, it, it used to be you bought a car, it depreciated, like by loads. The moment you drove it off the forecourt when you bought it brand new, the old saying was, you've just lost a thousand pound. The moment you drove, drove it off the forecourt. These days, people are buying cars for investments. I, my neighbor over here, he's bought this VW Golf Mark II GTI. It was a bit of a banger. He spent two years on it. He spent two years like it was a Rolex watch, putting all these bits and pieces back together, putting all the trim on the, in the inside, changing, even changing the, the sun blind thing. What they call it? The, the sun thing to stop the sun in your eyes in the car. Changing that, making it all leather. And he's literally transformed this car. And it's an investment now. It really is an investment. It's all about a bit like this, a bit like this stuff here, record players, speakers. People like old things. People like old stuff. I like old stuff. I'm pricing my old vinyl connection up to put on eBay. Looking at 20 grand. Wow, Richard, that is incredible. My theory is that human ears are pretty basic. <laughs> big Kev, do you know what? You're right. Um, AI is the next big... Danny Boy, yeah, that's that's not very good, is it? I don't think. Forget the video, it's too small. Suzuki Swift will do a solid jack. Right, yep. I've got £10,000, new Citroen Picasso, thanks to the beautiful scrappage scheme in 2008, and it died last year, a bargain. 2008 so that what did you have that for 15 no no that's long isn't it that's 20 2028 20, oh, what's my my math is rubbish 16 years old 10 grand i'm gonna have to dash to the toilet my sincere apologies i'll be back in probably going to be five minutes this one
I am back. Thank you all so very much for waiting. Um, that pizza, here it is. Or here, the, here is the box. Do not buy this pizza. This pizza is probably one of the worst things I've ever put into my mouth. When they like to put in the warning signs and stuff around, I thought it was a bit of a gimmick. Seriously spicy hot sauce. I've never known, I've never known a pizza like it. Never known a pizza like it. And that's what was just going on. Reviewed it at four o'clock this afternoon, now quarter to eight, three, three hours and 45 minutes. Um, that's not a Dr. Ortega pizza. <laughs> Hello Jack Bandit, how you doing mate? Having a Brooklyn Pills at the moment. What's your thoughts on it? Brooklyn Pills? It, they tried to make a big push into the British beer market, didn't they? And I don't think it worked. Um, I don't really see it in Tesco anymore. They, they did advertise it quite heavily, didn't they? But I don't think it worked that well. Anna. Real Ale Craft Beer. Hello, Simon. Uh, do you know it is Thursday today? Yes, I do. Did you have a good Easter? Is Mel off? Um, yeah, I had a lovely, I had a really busy Easter. Let me get some of these comments. Oh, lots of people talking to one of them. Uh, with them uh, to themselves, really. There we go. We're talking about cars. Oh, there we go. So lots of people talking to themselves, right? So let's go back to Anna's comment. Did I have a Did I have a good Easter? I had a wonderful Easter. It was really busy. So I did the Stone Crow Virtual Pub on the Friday. Um. I then. Oh, I had a bit of a ding dong Saturday night. Do you know when you have like ding dong Saturdays or not? Do you know when you like you meet? family members and things got a bit heated things got to be got a bit heated Saturday um all to do with like what's going on here um like I've told you and I've told you and I, I don't want to bore you guys with the same old thing many people many many people including my family don't see where I'm living as a place to invest money on renovation. It's a quick get on the property ladder, disappear. And I've always told you guys, and I want to be very quick, I want to be very quick because I've talked about this and talked about this until and and I'm blue in the face. And you guys have he heard it before. I was born in this area and I don't want to abandon this area. I want to, I want, I feel happy. And as long as I'm happy, who cares? Who cares? If, I, if, 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 if as long as I'm happy, that's the main thing. I don't want to live in a nicer area of Barry. I don't. I've got no interest in that. No interest in that whatsoever. Whatsoever. Life would be boring, wouldn't it? What would I do? What would I do if I just went, oh, I'm just going to live in a nice... I'd, I'd be bored stiff. I'm having so much fun. Like, doing what I'm doing out there. And, and like, changing the whole landscape. <laughs> Changing, 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 changing this place for the better. Changing this place for the better is what I am very happy doing. Um, yeah, so there was a bit of... <laughs> so we, what happened Saturday? We went to the pl a place called the Cherry Orchard. We had a few pints, a few games of pool. Worldwide goes, thank you very much. Few pints, few games of pool. Back to my family's house, 
very nice house, double storey extension. Two lovely cars on the drive. They've done very well for themselves. Very well for themselves. And a couple more points. And then the conversation kicks in and the whole like, why are you doing what you're doing? You know, that sort of thing. No, we don't agree with you. Um, you. You need to see a psychiatrist was one of the comments I had. Um, you need to see a psychiatrist. That was one of the comments I had Saturday night. And I don't think I do. I don't think I do. I'm doing it. I'm against the grain. I am completely against the grain. And I am definitely the black sheep of the family. But. Well, my God. This is the. My argument has always been. If everybody gives up on a place. If everybody just goes, oh, you know, I, I need to move on. I need to give up on this place, move on. Then then that place will never get any better, will it? That, that place will never improve. That place will never get any better. I will one day move from here, but I will not be living in Barry. It's not Barry that I want to live in. I don't see the point in 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 moving somewhere else in Barry just for a couple of years, a year, you know, until the kids are done in school, and then, like, deciding to do what I want to do. I don't see the point. I do, I do not see the point. I'd rather sit it out here, do what I need to do. I'm having fun. I'm having fun here. I'm, 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 I'm like, a state agent. I had an estate agent in before. I, I made the video, didn't I? Did anybody watch that video where I got an estate agent in? It was like a hot dog. I did hot dogs. Well, Velking hot dogs or something. And I and I talked about an estate agent rant. Can anybody remember that? So everybody, it's literally like a fight against the whole world. Um, but the estate agents don't agree. My family don't agree. But I like going against the ground. I've always, I've always, whatever, I don't like being told what to do. I don't like, I don't like it when it's like, like kind of almost like, like bully mentality. Don't like that whatsoever. Um, I never want a really nice car. If I make it as a, as the best YouTuber in the world, I don't want a really, really nice car. That, that, that sort of thing just doesn't interest me. I want to shake shake things up. I want to rattle the cage of life. You know what I mean? And, and that's what excites me about life. Rattling the cage. Mate, I've always been a black sheep of the family. And when they get fired, is I just don't quit. And when I'll oh, fight in the morning, I'm just happy on the outside. And then emotion, absolutely, absolutely, mate. Fair point, man. Would you move to England, a place like Cheshire? Paul Greenwood, I would... Um, I was looking at Oxford. It's expensive, isn't it? It's expensive. Shall we chat about it? Let's chat about it. I was looking on right move at Oxford. Um, people bully me sometimes because of my height. Do you have any advice on how to deal with it? Um, ignore them. That's what I do. I ignore everyone. Simon Wood, thank you very much for the. Oh, you got four likes on his super chat. You got five likes because I've just liked it too. I remember when I smoked, people would say, if you gave us smoking, you could live in a palace. And I just replied, you don't smoke. But you live in this. <laughs> Simon Wood, <laughs> brilliant. Simon the Rebel. Hello from Helsinki with Ross Alps Pills Good Beer. Haha, <laughs> yes, says Worldwide Ghost. Uh, when's the last time you actually saw the black sheet? I can't remember ever seeing one. You are the best YouTuber in the world. Thank Paul Jones, thank you very much. Until you have the money to buy good things. I, honestly, Mark Horsfield, honestly, I have no interest. I have no interest in in expensive cars, anything like that, only because... Um, 
Well, it, it, I just, I'm, I'm a funny old person, I suppose. It's not the house of Susan. It says love. Yep, I've been looking for a place at auction. Seen a few places starting at five grand. Uh, any auction, very good idea. The black sheep of the family. The black sheep end up to be the absolute right all of, of all the time. Uh, has as long as you, and you and Marlon the girls are happy, no problem. Take no notice. <laughs> Great to know Stone Crow is still having it large. Yeah, exactly. You're brave enough to do this, and we all appreciate it. Thank you very much. What places do you family advertise? Your ab family advertisers live in. Family advisors live in. Um, they look, it's called the West End. It's called the West End of Barry. And and I don't get it. Do you know come tell? I guess I do. I went up with a lovely lass from there once. Sorry, the lads. I, 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 don't, I don't get it. I don't get the West End. I never will. I lived there for a year. I moved back. I lived in the West End of Barry. I moved back. Didn't like it. Oxfordshire is a beautiful part of the world. Um, right, let's, I'm trying to get to the end of these chats so I can talk about where to go. I'm originally from south of Oxford, a town called Didcot. Pretty rough when I lived there, but it has become a lot nicer lately. Housing costs have skyrocketed due to nearby science and tech industry. Exactly that. Raining again. Re reject expensive goods is just a way to make you confirm and drudge through a nine to five misery. Richard, absolutely. If money was no object, what would my car be? I'd um, keep the car I got. Simon Wood. I keep my Fiat Punto. I fit a new turbo, because my turbo's whining. It whines like a police siren. Whee! <laughs> my, siren my, my turbo's been whining since I bought it, 14 months ago. Um, all the lacquer has come off. It looks like it's got a virus. The lacquer's come off. It's an orange car. I own an orange car. All the lack has come off and, and it's all potchy and patchy and everything's falling off. And I'd like to paint it black. Sparkling black. I'd lower it a bit, put a nice set of alloys on, fit the new turbo, maybe get it mapped because it's fast. My old Fiat is fast. I'd get it mapped and I'd be happy. That would be it. That would be it. Uh, Liz family is actually amazing, so I'm content. Citroen Picasso. Barnsley is the Barry of the North. Come here. Barry has a fun fair on the beach. Where else can you have some fun on the front door? Parramatta. Yep, yep. Exactly that. Um, I had fast cars, as you know, but my dream supercars out of my reach. I would be happy with anything. It's so fast. The lack you can't stay on. Oh, I know, I know. Like the Rolling Stones said, paint is black. Right, okay. Um, I'm at the end. And I forgot what I was going to bloody and say now. It's absolutely hammering down. That was it. Right. Sunday afternoon. Sunday afternoon, I went on right move. What I'm looking for... Do you know my pubs and bars? Do you know I'm doing the pubs and bars thing that I haven't done for ages? So I did Wales. And then I was like, I did Bristol, and then Bath, and then I'm like, everything now is like a hotel ride away. I've got to stay in a hotel. And I'm not quite... What I would rather do is move somewhere central where... And I thought of Oxford. The reason why I thought of Oxford is I went on National Rail Inquiries. I put in Oxford to London. It's an hour and 20. <laughs> hour and 20 to London. It's an hour and 50 to Birmingham. It's a couple of hours back to Wales if I need to see my family. It's a lovely little kind of like, I wanna be 
Coventry. That's, yeah, not a bad area. I'm, I want to be in a... Where... I'd like to go to Belgium. I'd like to go on to Belgium, to Bruges and Brussels and... I want to be able to swivel around everywhere. And I think Nottingham... Uh, no, I just read Nottingham. I think Oxford. But, right. So I went on right move. And... Like, there's houses where the walls are falling down. And they're still worth more than this. That's the problem. That's the problem. I think that's why we're trying to go through this whole levelling up thing. Place I was looking at. A little bit more money than this, if I sold this. It needed rewiring. It was damp everywhere. It literally, like, go in clean a room, camp in that room. It would be one of those situations. Camp in the room, as long as you've got an electric socket, maybe a bit of hot water. That sort of situation, you know. Girls are old enough. We'd all struggle by for six months, put a bathroom in, move out, move into another room, room by room, room by room, put a new roof on, that sort of thing. And then when you're in, now, if you can get a, like a decent place then in Oxford, London, hour and 20, the north, straight up, straight up on a train. Wales is back this way. The thing is, it's nice living in Wales. It is nice living in Wales. <coughs> but it's just a little bit too far from everywhere. Just a little bit too far. Just, Just a little bit like... Why Oxford? Is it far from the airport? It is far from the airport. Well, you could probably try to Heathrow in an hour, hour and 20. Wells is lovely, but it's out of the way. It's such a mission to see. This is the thing, love. It really is. Yorkshire is the place to be. So it's near the emotion. Simon, that's why I've been looking for as well at auction that's what i've been looking for somewhere yeah somewhere a smasher upper go in do it up slowly yorkshire hall the cheapest and best place in england i'm born and bred 30 years Giorgio. paramatta says bedfordshire north ants way is decent distance from a lot of places are not quite as pricey as Oxfordshire and the home counties. It is, like, I work with my dad. We did, like, 10-year guarantees on um, property. And we, we would be, like, it was all over Oxford Way. The money there is incredible. Some of the places that we were built, or they people were building, it was like another world. It was another world of people like ban conversions and 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 the money they were spending just unreal unreal like unimaginable types of money and we'd go there at the end we'd do three stages start middle and end we'd go at the end and we'd always be like mouths open wow like you know, they put in oil burning cookers, brand new agars, 10 grand, you know, nothing, nothing to them. Absolutely nothing to them. Band conversions, old pigsties, band things, and, and their apps, they were beautiful, beautiful, beautiful things. And we did one or two in Wales, they were like Tenby way. We did one or two in, in Tenby. Um, But it's, it's also unattainable, isn't it? It's all so like, can you break dance? Yeah, like, like the way. Uh, what a trophy you, you said my name. Giorgio, I feel super mate. Got name called by famous. <laughs> Giorgio, cool man. Uh, and any bands out there left to convert? Exactly, John Citizen. John, it's, it's, it's. Probably the best thing to move these days is, well, or, or the other place, beginning with you and a K. You could buy a cheap place there, couldn't you? Um, 
up north, man, Cheshire, Yorkshire, Merseyside, plenty of YouTubers to meet up with. And airports within drive, like Manchester, Leeds, Liverpool. Yeah, Paul Greenwood, probably. Mark Horsfield, best place to live is family and friends. Yeah, I kind of understand that. I understand. Oh, yeah, all right. Where's your food? Uh, oh, do you want to get mum to put a pizza on for you? Or do you want to just do a toasty? Cheese toasty? Get her to put a pizza on. Mum will do it now. You all right with that? Yeah, thank you. It was not, Annabelle, there's no point in cooking you pizza cold and leaving it. It's no good. Okay. Have it nice and hot, yeah? So my daughter does karate. She's coming for karate. She's like, where's my tea? And I'm like, have it fresh. You've got to have pizza fresh, haven't you? Uh, would you live in Yorkshire, uh, Steve Jeffrey? Um, oh. it, it's a funny one, isn't it? Lots of people. It's, it's a case of like, Uh, the beer scene is amazing. The beer scene is amazing. But I'd worry, I would worry that it'd be a bit colder and wetter, even though I live in Wales. My worry would be that it's a little bit colder and a little bit wetter. The, the higher you go up. And my biggest fear would be, like I'm struggling now, I'm struggling with how wet it is out there now. And my worry would be, even if it's like 10% wetter, 10% colder, that I would just, I would just, I would just fall into a massive hole in the floor, like type of thing. I, I live in a faded Yorkshire seaside town, but I've got sun and cliffs and beaches on my doorstep. That's the wall, beautiful. Cider, cider ads. I live in it. I'm close to my mate, job done. Mark Horsfield. I'm from Devon originally, Bob. Cornwall is a lovely spot. Would you live in Marbella? <laughs> exactly, yeah. Yeah, Spain, somewhere nice and warm. I'm going to have to go and get a beer. I, I do not have a beer. You right doing pizza? Uh, just keep an eye on it. He's on the top shelf. 15, 20 minutes. Preston. Mel, would you live up north? Yeah. She said, yeah. Would you live... Um... See, we were looking about a year ago. I'm talking to Mel and you at the same time now. I was looking at Huddersfield. Was it a year ago? No, I was talking... Well, six months ago, John? I was looking at Huddersfield. There's some amazing property there. You could buy a house for 80. Needs work, 80 grand. And I thought, job done. Job done. Pay the mortgage off here. Buy a house there. Um, Simon, Yorkshire born, Yorkshire bred. Strong in the arm and thick in the head. I stand proud with John. Yay, 10 pounds. I would. If, if Mel would, yeah, yeah, I'd go. I'd go and live in Yorkshire. The beer's amazing. The beer's amazing. My biggest thing, I live next door to Cardiff Airport. Literally next door. And it doesn't fly anywhere. It's all Tui. It's all Tui. All blooming San Miguel land. Flying to Spain. San Miguel, San Miguel. I don't want to go to San Miguel land. I'm not interested. I want to go to Belgium. So... From Manchester Airport, from Liverpool Airport, can you go to places like Brussels, Paris? Can we go somewhere? Germany. Germany. Can I go to Munich? 
if I can go from Munich, if I can go to Munich from, say, Manchester, direct flight, Manchester to Munich, I'm looking at the channel. Thanks very much, Simon Wood, for the £10 super chat. I can't quite remember if I thanked you for the super chat, but any super chats that come my way, I really do appreciate it. Go to Blackpool Pints for a pound. Yeah, the French and Germans do far better up here. For the channel, I can see my nearest competitor on YouTube. Lives on the outskirts of London. He's in Belgium all the time. And I can't compete. How can I compete? The challenge is swimming. <laughs> House prices are good. I can't compete. They're off to Belgium. They're doing stuff in little Belgium brat bars and whatnot. I, I can't compete with that because I can't get there. I've done it. I've been to Brussels on a train from here. And it, it took me like a flipping... My goodness me, it took me forever. Uh, are you definitely moving inside or thinking about it? No, I, I'm, I'm got, I'm, I'm, I've got a couple of things I need to sort out. Mainly children's schooling. The moment, the moment that anchor comes out of the ground of, of schooling here, I'd like to think i go somewhere different. Bit of a, <laughs> bit of a problem though, bit of a, I will do it, is I'm going to be a granddad to my oldest daughter. I'm going to be a granddad to my oldest daughter. And that might be a little bit of a sticking point. That might be like, when you're gone, you're gone type of thing. Take your cars quicker. Uh, train beers as well. That's a, that's a problem. They're so good. Yeah, yeah. Big fan of a Belgian blonde. Uh, I think you need to go fun for a Simon helicopter. East, East Midlands Airport, says Steve Jeffrey. Dover, <laughs> yeah, Dover, <laughs> that one, Paul Jones, yeah, <laughs> that's where I want to be, just go to your local park and get, well, no, 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 it's all, it's not about just getting mangled, is it, it's about, for me, tasting the beer, and experiencing these wonderful places, speaking to nice people, are you definitely, yeah, uh, we left the East London, West Essex, frontier and moved up to Lincolnshire seven years ago. We live in a tiny village out in the sticks, but only 15, 20 minutes to Lincoln. Best thing we've ever done. Charlie Sobel. This is the thing. Northbrook Gaming. Hi, how are you doing? So... Because I've got this grand plan, that's why I don't want to move to the West End of Barry, because it'll only be for a couple of years. What's the point? I might as well stay, finish what I want to do here, finish that, and then boom, off we go. Shout out to the best friend, Ben. <laughs> I'm not sure uh, Simon, you're always welcome at my house to say, I'll make room in the shed. In the in motion, yeah, absolutely. Uh, what is the maximum wavelength of light that can liberate an electron from a metal service with a work function of 3.2 EV, plus your favourite beer. Right then, that one, that first question is 146,999 EV. And the second answer, my favourite beer, is anything quite lovely that's in my glass on that given day. So today, Wall, Wall House Premium Pilsner. Did I get the first question right? I know I did. I know I did. Because I'm a flipping genius. <laughs> you can probably get to Belgium quicker than going to North Wales, si, With these 20 mile an hour. Oh, I'm, I know, I know. Correct! I'm co Look at that, I'm correct. Um, well, you won't have to drink all bright. Bitter anymore, sausage bap. Hello, sausage bap. Simon impressed. Uh, 
Just want, just wanted, just wanted your video where you refurbished the kitchen. I watched. Um, thank you very much. Do you think it's fair that she perceived and made a dance in the rain? Well, uh, whatever goes, isn't it? Whatever goes. You ever bought off beer merchants? I have done the but I used to be sponsored by them years ago. I managed to get hold of Allagash White, about to open one. Enjoy Parramatta. Thank you. I made a I made a welly. I'm like, can you can you anybody spot the welly? Anybody spot the mistake with the kitchen behind me? Go on. Comment. Anybody spot the mistake there? Uh, anyone remember when Hovercraft was all the rage to get to France, Holland, whatever happened to that? I know. Never heard of it. It'd be amazing. Go there in 20 minutes, isn't it, Big Kev? Right, Pat's Beer Garage, five US dollars. Super chat. Thank you very much. Already got four likes on that one. Just had the best barley wine I've ever had. Puchiala Cola, Cola with Weissafan and brewed in tawny port and ruby barrels. 13 out of 10, stone the crows. I've got something like that. I've got something like that, Pat's Beer Garage. Uh, have you many LP? My wife's got all the LPs. I borrow them, Terence McCann, to play on your stereo system. The Celestia and Ditton speakers are excellent. They really are fantastically loud. I'm a Japanese who's studying in Austria. Do you have any Austrian beer recommendations? Oh, there's so many. Vienna Lager. Mikan. Go and find some Vienna Lager. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And it's alright to be fair, I had a bit of a list. But we're getting there nearly done now. It's a beautiful house. Kids all have a room. Plenty of room to entertain people. I'm happy. No door on the world. No, 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 no. Nothing to do with the door. Can you play some music? Are the cupboards the wrong way around? No, I tell you what. Um only got a door to go in the unit. Really old crap. It help us be right, let me help you. Right. Being a carpenter, I immediately went 500 millimetres off the shelf. That's your regular. I just got a tape measure. Did it without thinking. Come off that shelf. 500 mil, half a metre, and then, and then put the units on the wall. The problem is worktops are 900. So worktops are lower. Worktops will be, say, about there. That's one, not 900 millimetres, but 1.2. That's 300 millimetres higher. Because I went off that shelf there, which is 300 millimetres higher than a work, work, worktop. Schoolboy error, big Kev, schoolboy error. 500 mil off there, kitchen units in the sky. Literally, my wife can walk underneath them. Are you still there, Mel? Huh? Oh, it's Annabelle. Mel can walk underneath the units. They're in the sky. Simon, it's five hundred thing to the work function. Is it? I, oh, I don't, I got it right. Can anybody see that now? Look up, the, these things are in the sky. If you're tall, perfect. My son-in-law, measure to I cut one. My son-in-law would have no problem with those units. He's, he's, he's massive. Apart from cider drinker, what beer tunes are blasting from that thing? Oh, loads. Bowie, all sorts. I heard that they ruined the taste of Rhine back a while back. Did they improve it again? Timmy, I think they have. Perfect for me, Simon. I'm six foot five. You, that'd be, yeah, no problem for you, mate. No problem. People are getting bigger anyway, aren't they? That's my argument. People are getting bigger. <laughs> uh, move to Ireland, Simon. Cheap European city flights. Jenny and the wife can sort you out with cheap flights. Thank you very much, Mac. Uh, going to Florida. Any beers you look for there? Any good American beers there? Oh, Florida. Loads and loads and loads of good beer there. Loads and loads. I am the model schoolboy when it comes to DIY. They look great, thanks, Simon. Thank you very much. 
Let's all move to the Czech Republic. Wouldn't that be nice? I'm in Wales, says Norbert Gaming. Simon, but yes, they are. <laughs> Simon Wood, they are as well, yes. Uh, when will you get Ryan Backer on tap? I seen it in a keg once in Lidl. Five litre mini keg. It was fun. No. Pearl and Backer pills in a five litre mini keg. That was beautiful. I'm the model guy when it comes to WI. What is that? Uh, oh, Mel. What? I want to get you to walk underneath the units. I asked everybody what the problem was. And they were saying, oh, so the door's missing, the door's missing. Look. Here she comes. Look. <laughs> I'm going to right mash up of it. It's dead. <laughs> they're, they're in the sky. They're in the sky. <laughs> got to get a ladder. If you want to get... If you want to get up the top, you got to get a ladder. <laughs> So 1.2, 1.2, that, I went 500 mil off the 1.2. Mel would need a step ladder, yeah. You're creating stretching exercises, yeah. Uh, fire sounds good. I think Mel will need a ladder, yeah. Get a ladder on wheels like a library. Yeah, yeah. Tin of beans. Right, here's the library ladders. Yeah. Oh, well. We can, do, you know, do you know kitchens? There's a load of stuff that you never use. Put all that at the top in there so you never have to get it down again. No, nerding. No, John. No. That's it now. Then I got them speakers up on my own. And I was literally... Like this, you know when the veins are coming out of your head? I was literally like, got him up. Held him up one hand, screw out my mouth, quietly. Screw in the hole I drilled in the side of the unit. Let go of the screw. Reached out, pick up the cordless drill. You know when you're doing all this stuff, balancing cordless then, through the side of the unit, screwed them in through the side. They hung up on mirror brackets then on the wall old mirror brackets holding them speakers up. So they're, they're pinned in through the side of that unit. Um, they're pinned in, pinned in through the side of that unit, all screwed down the side. And then mirror brackets on the top, on a on, on like three by one. I see that it, this is going to, oh my, I'm rushing our pay. <laughs> yeah, Simon like Wood, yeah. Yeah, we need, we need a, a, a Ukrainian um, a cleaner to, to get our stuff off the top of the... <laughs> yeah. Just a few... No, 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 they're up now. That's it. They're done. They're done. They're done. We only, we only need to use the bottom shelves anyway. Clogs. Yeah, yeah, big, big shoes. Uh, wow, like a great day. Well done. Crank up the sounds. Thank you very much. Local friendly handyman. Hi, Simon. I hope you're well. I'm on my go to Banks Amber Ale. Mike the Saddler. That's, is that in bottle? And if so, is that still a pound? Because that beer for a pound, nothing short of magnificent. Nothing short of magnificent. Really, really good quality beer for a pound, that is. Would I pay three pound for it? No, not on your nelly. But for a pound? Yeah, it's not bad. It's all right. Oh my God, I had two cleaners once. I learned to love... <laughs> yeah. Uh I ain't fitting covers even though I am good at it. 
Oh, they're hard work. They're, they're really... They're hard work. Base units are... The thing is now, they're up. It's all base units now. Easy base units, aren't they? Uh, they're still selling as a mean times in home bargains. Probably Parramatta, I imagine so. Imagine so. Robin N. Switched over to my next beer. Hoop Jams. A light blonde at 4.8% ABV. A quid. What beer and where from? Giorgio Romeo. Well, if you go to Home Bargains in the UK, you can pick up a meantime IPA for 75p at the moment. Once it's gone, it's gone. The meantime's gone. Th that's trouble. What speaker is that, Simon? Do not shoot. It's a Celestian Ditton. Uh, Raffles Kitchen is now in Lego. <laughs> For a... Refitting kitchens now is it, like Lego for adults, yeah. Love Lane will be ready available from home wagons. They bailed out Love Lane last year. Oh, home wagons, yes, I heard. I heard, I heard. I don't know why. They're insistent, aren't they? They are absolutely insistent. Home back on, on trying to bring out their own beers and I will not I don't understand it I do not understand it for for two reasons the first reason is the beer that they buy in for cheap all this African lager that's like cheap as cheap the golders the star lager it's fabulous for the money it's fabulous they should concentrate on buying stock from places like Meantime and, and, and you know, you're always going to get big stock buys if you're home bargains. I don't know why they're insisting on pushing their own brand of beer because it's so far, let's be fair, so far, there's been the odd decent beer, but some of it is just appalling. Some of it's appalling. And it then pushes you into thinking... Like I thought, ha ha! I got a good video. I'll review. I'll review a home bargain steak, and I'll hold the steak up and I'll go. How bad can it be? Like home bargain steak. The 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 problem is, if they start getting ribbed for their beer, being shockingly bad, then you've got to wonder, haven't you, about steak. Noodles, chicken nuggets in their freezer, everything else. Mike, lots of people liking Mike Super Chat. Thank you very much. Oh, sorry, Mike and Mike and 709. Poor students, so not much, but thanks for the recommendation. Love the reviews, makes my lonely drinking night so much better. Mike and five euro Super Chat. Thank you so very much. For your lovely, lovely gesture. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Um, I buy what tastes nice. Yep. Hello. There he is. There he is. There he is. Look. Look. Look, Steve. Look. Look. We've got some. We've got some things happening in the bar. Do you know what this is? Steve will know. Steve loves his music. Do you know what this is, Steve? Does it? Does it show it properly? Let's get it. Uh, Steve will know. Vintage. Vintage piece of equipment there, Steve. Do you know what it is? Look at this. It's like a bit of furniture. Bought it in Cardiff Flea Market in Tremorfa. Cheap as chips, 45 quid. Come on, Steve. Something to do with that up there. <laughs> hey, Steve, 7868. Uh, don't apologize. Uh, when you get in a second turntable, so there's some TJ mixing. <laughs> um, I finish all my beers. Uh, Craig, yes, B O B O O, Bang and Ollison. Have you played uh, Village People? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can you imagine? <laughs> Any motorhead, ace of spades going on the screen. Yeah, 
piece of space. Yeah, oh, I gotta get. I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna find YMCA on on a record. It'd be about a quid, wouldn't it? It's P and O. We are travellers in the past. Uh, Simon, have you seen the new Lords Brewing branding? What do you think? Uh, I haven't, to be honest. I haven't. I haven't. I haven't. I'd like to have a look. I'll have a look in the morning, mate. Is that there? We go. Steve knows. Steve knows. Celestian Ditton vintage speakers and a Bang and Allison. Yeah, record player. Very happy. We should go one day. We should go. Um, they, they open Wednesdays and Saturdays and Sundays. It's called Tremorpha Flea Market, and they got a vintage record place there, and it's phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. I've seen oh, I've seen some stuff there, literally. One, I couldn't afford it. It was £350. It was just this vintage... It was from the 1970s, vintage record player. Uh, from... What? I, I, Tanberg? Tanberg? Ah, oh, it was just the most amazing... Thing you've ever seen in your life just loved it the look of this record player Tanberg it was beautiful beautiful Danish I think it was Danish bit of kit you, your uncle has in silver ah yes it, tell you what they fly they fly them things bonkers I remember the B&O CD player, wall mounted with about five CDs on display, was popular with the urban splash properties. I can imagine, yep. Yeah. Alan Partridge, he will be on the director's bitter next. <laughs> I don't, can I ask a question? Can I ask a serious question? Everybody bangs on about this, me. I'm just like Alan Partridge. I don't understand it. Only because I've never watched Alan Partridge. I kid you not. I kid you not. I've never watched Alan Partridge. I don't know. I'd probably watch it and go, head in my hands. Oh my God. What have I, you know, why am I like this guy? But I, I've never watched it. Can people tell me? What the resemblance or what the thing is with this Alan Partridge. I get it all of the time. Like once a day, somebody will go, oh, it's Alan Partridge. What, what's, the, what's the deal? Still not so you're missing out. I've never seen it. I've never seen it. I just go, ha, 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 or I just ignore the comment. I don't understand what it's all about. Never watched Alan Partridge. That's such an Alan Patrick question. <laughs> this is the thing, though, isn't it? If you haven't watched it... I remember when I got a portable CD player and the sound was great, but then you realised you had to carry it around flat like a cake. That's actually valve amp. Tamburg. He also had a flat wall mounted one. I still regret throwing away my old analogue stuff. Oh, I know. I know. It's like... There's a guy on YouTube. There's a guy on YouTube and there's people... Because they know that he saves stuff. So there's people that they go over the... You know, like the, the, the tip where you dump your stuff off. You don't want any more. There's, there's um, people who, who literally, if they see something, bang on Olufsen or something like that, they get it out the skip and they send it to him. And he makes YouTube videos fixing these old turntables, fixing these old bang on Olufsens and stuff. And he gets loads of views. This guy gets loads of views fixing this old stuff. You know, the next thing... Is it my maybe? <laughs> um, the next thing that's big... You know the old um, tube tellies? You know the old box tellies? 
you go over the literally you go over our dump over here and there's like 30 35 inch tellies the big square tellies loads of them apparently they're about to go like not the telly not, not like explode like but people want them people want them reason being you can take the back off you can slide in a raspberry pi put a hole in the front you can put like a whole amiga these days a whole commodore amiga's worth of games on a raspberry pi put it inside one of these big old tellies drill a hole through the front plug in a usb controller and you've got a you've literally got a massive set with, with all the amiga games known to man all of it and that's what people are doing raspberry pies Local friendly honeymoon. See you soon, man. Beer and music. Wow, well, you can. You get monetized, don't you? Steve Kogan is so full of self importance. So I applaud anyone who don't watch him. My mate Vince. Uh, I read that one. Uh, don't see the result. Thank you very much, ADC. What's the best thing ever, says Daniel Shields. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, why should you never wear... Because you're not both. <laughs> Hidden doors, sun locked. There's a few beers in Glasgow. Enjoy. Um, picked up today. Banks Amber Ale. Bottles 99 pence. And Ryan back a vice peer bottles one pound forty nine. Mike the Saddler. We'll be down your way. Cider Rally in Bridgewater. Mayday from Preston. Great. Where are you going to put your handball pump, Steve Jeffy? That's a really good point. That's a really good, if I, if I've missed any comments, I do apologise. That's a really good point. Where am I going to put my handball pumps? Well, they are going. They are going. Um, they're right in the middle of the room. Um, at the moment, I'm just running out of space. At the moment, I like to think that I can, if I if I had like one more room, one more room, like where I could put this stuff. It's not much, I suppose. It's only one, two, three, four. It's only four. It's only four handfuls. I'll put them. I'll put them somewhere. I'll put them somewhere. Um, bars go in. Sinks. I'm going to fit a sink. Washing machine. Dishwasher. Bit of a utility room out here. That's the plan. I enjoy the videos. Just wondering if you pronounce everything wrong just to get comments. Intellect? No, no. No, absolutely not. Um, no, 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 no. It's just, just these, these things just, you know, you just read things as you read things, don't you? That sounds like delirium. That is delirium. <laughs> That is a bottle of del delirium. I don't read things out to get comments. Wrong? No, no, no. Is this a reference to the Goyozo Greek Japanese dumplings? Oh, I never pronounce those. Um, hi, Simon. Where are you going to put the real old craft beer glowing sign? Happy Harry. Right. That was the only thing that me and Mel have to have a chat about. Because she bought me that for Christmas and it's not up anymore. And it doesn't fit underneath. It's just like this much too big to fit underneath there. If it fitted underneath there, it would have been perfect, wouldn't it? But it doesn't fit. Um, 
Do you know what I could do? Do you know what I could? And I just thought about this right now. I could blank that off, couldn't I? Blank it off, paint it grey, stick the sign on there. Do you reckon I'll get away with that? Do you reckon that'll work? Blank off that one door. I'm not, I don't need all these cupboards. I mean, cupboards every. When we fitted the kitchen, we put in far too many units. We literally filled that room with units. And after, it was nice. Like, when you got loads of, this house, we've never had any room. And then, and then when you've got too much room, you fill it with rubbish. That's what I realise in life. I realise that if you have to, like, there's a chainsaw in my cupboard down there in the kitchen. A chainsaw. I don't know what else to put, but it's in the kitchen cupboard. I, I might just blank that off. Blank it off. Blank in panel. Screw it up. Put the real L craft beer sign on there. Job done. When someone comes to view the house, are they going to really notice? Are they going to really notice? I could even put a handle on there. Blank it off with a handle. Oh, well, I think someone wants to be from text before the chain. <laughs> <laughs> Simon Way. Oops. Uh, Simon, do you ever know a good sparky in the real life? No, no, no. Um, I don't mind adverts, but I do mind them um, when it prevents me typing. When I'm typing, oh, Anna, I do, Anna, I do apologise. I do apologise. Yeah, Paul Greenwood, absolutely. Uh, Anna, not really. Uh, I buy... When spend a bit of time restoring, replacing batteries, collaboration, etc. Um, then I try and make ten pounds. So I said, oh, oh, oh. oh, what are we talking about here, John? Do you have movie nights with the family? Yes, Simon Wood. Um, usually Saturdays. Um, what did we watch recently? June. I mentioned this, didn't I? I mentioned this. We watched Dune. Dune. Not June. Dune. D Dune. Yeah, I, I keep going. We, we watched that. It was good. Yeah, it was all right. It was good. Um, me and Mel, we always... Uh, Dune, Dune. No, no. Oh, uh, in the cinema. Oh, we used to go all the time. We went last year to watch Barbie. We went last year to watch... I had to have a pint after. I literally had to have a pint. I left the cinema... Like, I was like this. Just, like, it was never going to be my thing. I promised I wouldn't do it. Promised. Promised the whole family I wouldn't do it. I got three quarters of the way in. And then all the life messages come out. All the things you shouldn't do in life. All the things you shouldn't do. In, all the things that are right. All the things that were wrong. And I just come out like this. And I couldn't. It took me like 15 minutes. I was like, I just need 15 minutes now. I need to calm down. Just just breathe. <sighs> Get over this. Let's go for a pint. Let's go for a pint. Let's do a normal thing. And we went for I was fine then. It, it was out of my head. I, I haven't thought about it since. Um, for some reason, the bomb film was, was much harder. I still haven't seen it. I really wanted an Oppenheimer. I really want, I still haven't watched it. Why is it so much harder to watch Oppenheimer than it is to watch Barbie? Barbie, like, it was like, you could, you could, like, straight to Sky Cinema, wasn't it? Or, or Amazon had it, or it was out straight away. Oppenheimer, I'm still waiting. Apparently, it's on, it's going to come out on something like, the 19th of April or something on, on Sky Cinema. But it's taken forever. Forever for that movie to come out. But I was always going to be more of an Oppenheimer type of guy. Than, 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 than Barbie. So yes, we do. Um, I went to watch Barbie and then we went for a, we went for a meal. We went in the Head of Steam I had a couple of um, Erdingers, Erdinger Weiss beer. We had some food in the head of steam, and then we come home on the train. Yeah, that was that was that. 
Paul Greenwood, Titanic Plum Porter, one of my favourite drinks. Yes. Where do these experts live? I know Simon Wood. I know. Have you watched it? Can I ask Simon Wood? Have you did you have you watched Barbie? It was good for a bit. It was good for a bit, and then and then it's just like you always, whatever we. There's always a. There's always a message these days, isn't there? I don't want every every. I, I can't watch the BBC. I know, I know. I can't watch the BBC because there's always a there's always a an agenda. There's always an agenda. There's always I, I can't read the Guardian newspaper. I cannot cannot read that. You 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 have a look at that and it's like, you know, you might as well live your last day type of thing. Oh, it's all gonna end now, tomorrow. Can't read the Guardian. Um and I knew, I knew there was going to be some kind of bonkers message in, in and there was, there was. The guy is for, oh, it's, I can't go anywhere near this Simon Wood. It's like, can you remember, can you remember when it hit 41 degrees? Two summers ago, was it? It wasn't last summer, was it? Two summers ago now, it hit 41 degrees in the UK. And there was a couple of terrace houses that, that unfortunately, you know, you never want that thing to happen, do you? Unfortunately, the terrace houses, they went up in smoke, didn't they? Thankfully, I think nobody was injured. But I knew right then, I was on holiday. <laughs> Just read Simon Wood's comment. I knew straight away i was sitting on holiday on a on a on a i was in a caravan i was in tembe it was when i filmed the beers and pubs of tembe it was it was that very caravan i was sitting on the little plastic balcony thing and i was thinking oh what are the what, what's the guardian going to make of this what are they going to write about this and it's literally like I th I waited till the next day, and then I had like it was like doomsday, like like this is this is it type of thing, forty one degrees, you know, like ah, you know, like all all of the terrace houses are gonna burn down, and it was it was like like, but then <laughs> naturally then. Because I had a little bit of, when you're on holiday, you always have a bit of time on your hands, don't you? I subscribed for a free month to the Times. And the Times is the other way. The Times is the other way. And it's like, um, like you're reading about like Italy, they, they've got way too much debt and Italy's about to go bust and, and don't invest in Italy and, and all of these other things. And, and like, I just want a bit of middle ground. I just want a bit of like, Couple of jokes, bit of football news, bit of normal. You can't get it anymore, can you? You can't go and watch a Star Wars movie without a message of some kind. Whatever we watch, whatever there's always these 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 like Charlie says. I always go back to it, and I first picked up on it. I first picked up, I'm going to go and get a pint in a minute. I'm empty. I first picked up on it. Can you remember when Frank Butcher ran over by accident? Um, was it Tiffany on EastEnders? What was it? What was her name? He ran her over, killed her. He was drink driving. That was when I first was like, that's not television that's a drink driving message and that's when i first went Bong! light bulb moment you don't see charlie says anymore do you? you don't see don't drink you don't see don't fly your kites into the telegraph poles you don't see any of that stuff anymore but they've they've like integrated it into daily life now They've integrated in, into like like you being told this on a daily basis every day. I, I had the snooker on today. 
and I've never seen anything like it. I had ITVX on, only for the snooker. I watched Mark Williams versus Judd. Can anybody tell me the score? Judd Trump versus Mark Williams. Does anybody know the, the live score of that game, please? Um, I was watching that this afternoon. And the adverts, oh, they were they were like, it was like like dribbling. It was like it was like proper dribbling advert. Like they they were speaking really slowly and loud, as if they were speaking to a ninety year old person with a double ear and aid type of thing. Dreadful. Like who's watching this stuff? So I got to the point when when a frame was finished, I was muting the telly. Mute. I can't just can't deal with it. Alan, um, I watched Beauty's Jimmy. I refuse. The fact they tried to cover up is disgusting. And they have a statue in the back. Well, not bought a paper in five years. I was. No, no, no. This is the thing, Chris Littlewood. It's not. It's not that I'm. I'm not any of these things. I really aren't. I'm not any of these things. Of course, the man landed on the moon. Of course, he did. I'm not, I'm not, I can just see things. It's unfortunate that I can. Like, I've got family members, they still watch EastEnders to this day. It's like, for me, it's like tinnitus. I might as well sit there watching that with tinnitus, you know. I, I just can't deal with it. I can't deal with Emmerdale Farm. I can't deal with Coronation Street. I certainly... Eight four something. Is it really Alex Ditton? No way. Wow. Um, I can't deal with EastEnders. I can't do it. I can't. It's like tinnitus. It's like it's just. It's just. I can. Oh, Panama! I'm still stuck. I'm still stuck. All I see is messages like "Don't drink and drive." Don't. Don't do this. Don't do that. Um, Simon, I'll never forget these channels on Barry Beach, the most Orwellian thing I've ever seen, heard. The Republic of Wales is and has become become a thing. It, it's all horrible. It's, uh, and that's one other thing. Thank goodness we got rid of our dictator. Thank good the dictator's gone. Um... I've never once, I've ne you know, dark lane type of thing, come across that man in the dark lane. I, 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 I don't think I could stop myself. I don't think I could stop myself. Um, um, horrible. And, and he, he got the face of a care bear, haven't he, as well? Face of a care, that's the biggest thing for me. Face of a care bear um, who's trying to be big and tough. And and it was dreadful, absolutely like locked himself in his shed, locked himself in his shed. Unbelievable. Got to get a point. This is a wonderful thing having a pint in the in the fridge like that. Proper keg beer. This 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 walled house pills. Look at the carbonation. It's just absolutely wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful beer. Fighting him uh, would be like going into a pill of beer. <laughs> 
can't, you can't. I know why I have like, oh, just, I, 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 you know, I say, right, first two minutes, I'll tie my hands behind my back. You can have two minutes, free hits, Mr. Mr. D. And uh, and then I'm going to take uh, take my hands from behind my back. And then it's going to be like build a bit. <laughs> oh, my goodness me. It's, it's like, why do these people always end up at the top? Why is it that... And do you know the worst thing about this? The worst thing about this whole thing, right, is that... Tom CC can't stand the man, can't stand the man. He's ruined the drinks industry in Wales because he didn't drink. He didn't drink. He's ruined pubs, ruined pubs in Wales, ruined business in Wales. The moment you come across the Severn Bridge, 50 miles an hour, as soon as you drive through Newport, 50 miles an hour, it's like, welcome to Wales, you know? Ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. Uh, up here in Scotland, who has completely took it? Well, the, the, do you know Bob Ag? The scary thing about that is that, um, well, I, I don't care actually. I've had a few pints, I'm going to talk about it. It's a creeping thing, isn't it? It's a creeping thing. Do you know, I was always told by my grandfather that he's dead now. We'll be outbred. And I, I, I'm sorry if this is coming across rather. We won't, we, we won't, like, we might be big and tough. But they'll have nine kids. And this is the thing. This is the thing. All the alcohol will be banned. We'll be outbred. We'll be just be like, it's, it's been the last 15, it's like, I'm, I'm, I've got to be careful here. I'm like, I've got to be really, really careful because I'm starting to sound like maybe I've had a, like maybe it's the early witching hour. Um. I'm just a common sense type of guy. I'm a common sense type of guy. Um, we'll, we'll... You less is the worst thing. I don't believe in this very, but I 90% believe that man land on the moon. I agree, big Kev. The other five say 50s, uh, technology flying to the moon, I'm not having it. Um, well, this is the thing. This is the thing, energy and motion. You, know, you, you can, can you? Um, we, we can all think it, Behind closed doors, we can all think it, but it's a channel shutter, isn't it? You start going down that road, it's a channel. It's a channel closure. It's a. It's a like, don't you know? You step across that line. There's no going. Um, <laughs> it's frustrating. It's really blooming frustrating. Really blooming is, isn't it? Let's be fair. Even Simon Evan, hope you're all well. Nick, Hi, hello, hello Nick, how you doing? I suppose I can talk in code. I can talk in code. I can say what my grandfather told me, and that, and that was, you know, we we are a tough breed of people, but we don't have nine children. Yeah. Uh, you know, Simon Stone and the Crows, you're 45, me too, I'm 45, yeah. Uh, was it Enoch Powell? Uh, what, my grandfather? Hi, Simon, I, I am pro I am being proper obsessed with Brewdog, sure leave at the moment. Got the alternative doom bar this weekend. I briefly owned a Z Citroen Xantia from Three Lions. Did you really? Who filmed the last round getting off the shuttle on the moon? Ah, oh, I, I, you know, these things I tend to not like. I tend to not think about it too much. I... 
Francis kind of kicking in tonight. Good, good. Technically, we be more. It's a mess. Don't worry. Um, good luck, Shorty. Oh, can anyone hear that? Can anyone hear that? Let me tell you a little bit of a story because I've got a point now. And I'm going to tell you a story about my day. So, as you know, the last two weeks, I've done a live stream up in that bedroom up there. Just out of the way. Um, and I don't mind talking about this now because it's gone on a bit long, haven't it? And I've had a point. And I don't really care about care, talking about it too much anymore. So, my daughter has got a job over Barry Island. She's working over Barry Island. She's doing rather well. She's loving it. So, terrace house, front door, onto the street. You can't control that, can you? Once you open that front door, you're onto the street. And you're saying goodbye to your child. So, my daughter goes out the front door. I say, goodbye, Molly. Have a nice day in work. I turn... And my neighbour is pumping a tyre up, which, of course, you know, entitled to do. It's a thing that you have to do. And we made eye contact. I think you all know by now that I'm not really getting on with my neighbour too much. We made eye contact. And I went, good morning. That's all. Good morning. And it was like I might as well have told her to, type of thing and started doing this. I was brought up in this world to be polite. Even what I've suffered, what I've been through, the last two, what I'm listening to now. An Alexa speaker at full blast, tinny cheap shouldn't say that should i i'll retract that an alexa speaker full blast playing all sorts of music i've got this has gone on now dr drilling the walls while i do beer reviews throwing stuff everywhere like i am still the better person I will still say good morning to you. Good morning. It, I, it was just honestly the moment I opened my mouth. The moment I opened my mouth to this person. And I was polite. Good morning. But I will always be polite. I will never ignore anyone. Oh, honestly, it's, it's, it's just one of these, Dan, it's just one of these, like, um, it's okay. It's okay, I can deal with it. As, 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 as long as, as long as, as long as I'm the better person, as long as, I'll always say good morning to somebody, I drove down the street a week or two ago and she was walking up the street with a daily two bottles of wine. And I, you know, lifted my hand off the steering wheel and I waved. I'll always try and be a decent person. It's okay though. It's okay. Fly me to the moon. I would say good morning back. Exactly that. Just good morning. You know, life's too short. 
life's too short. That's the that's the thing, isn't it? Life is too short. Just just good morning. I don't want this quarrel. I don't want this constant like eggshell stuff, like you know. But I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna leave it. Uh, some people are just nah, and your best bet is to forget the others and give the ball back. Well, yeah. Howdy, John, a real mate, even drunk with a comedian after just a right few days. Oh, Mike the Sadler. There's no rehearsals in life. Do you know what? Somebody, somebody's told me that before. There's no rehearsals in life. This is it. This is it. There's no rehearsals. You don't get to go again. You don't get to have another go. I mean... The... <laughs> The problem is, is there's nothing else to do. And I think that's the biggest problem. The biggest problem here is that there's nothing else to do. Um, if there was something else to do, then maybe they wouldn't be thinking about me that much. And... <sighs> Never mind. You, you, you're never going to fix this whole thing, are we? I mean, I played... Oh, a, a story. Let me tell you a story. I played snooker last night. Beat my mate. Great guy. Just about beat my mate. He's a very good snooker player. I beat him. And as I was beating him, a, a, a lady came in from the Market Street um, Club. And she put a name on the board. Because the two tables were... Were full. So she put a name on a board and, and, and I just won and um, I said, oh, would you like the table? I was expecting a friend of hers to come in or, or whatever. And she went, oh, no, I'll play the winner. And I just won. I couldn't play. Is it really? I can't. Wow. He's had his Weetabix, haven't he? Um... But anyway, she won the first frame. I, I potted. I had a good finish. I, I had a good finish. I, I potted brown, blue, pink and black. Four ball finish. Happy with that. I lost by seven points. Anyway, won the second, won the third. Very, very happy. When I went to the toilet, um, the people in the bar were like, you realise she's first division. She's, she's first division. She's doing really well. And and she's the captain of this market street. And you've just beaten her. So I'm happy with that. But that's not the moral of the story. The moral of this story is we chatted after. We had another pint after. We sat down and chatted and talked. And of course, things got brought up in conversation. And the conversation went a bit like this. Um, she said, oh, I've dealt with it too. And she said, my sister's currently dealing with it. So her sister, unfortunately, lives next to a block of flats full of people taking heroin and all sorts of things. And she's currently going through it too. She's going through... Uh, on a daily basis, she's going through hell, basically. And and I think that's what I'm dealing with, maybe. I, I mean, just the, the fact that I say good morning to somebody. The return the 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 reaction was not of how 
How can I put it? Can you put it for me? Can you comment and put it for me? It wasn't a very normal reaction that I received when I said good morning to somebody. And you're living in small terrace housing. You're living next next door to this person. Like it's it's a bit Martin J. Sound mind, Paul Jones, the smackheads. That's uh, it's a tough one, isn't it? Simon Wood, do you have to go? I do apologise, Simon Wood, if, if, if this has got a bit rubbishy the last hour, hour or so. I have a couple of points, and um, of course, I don't really want to talk to Matt about it. I don't really want to talk to the kids about it. I don't want to talk to my family about it, really. But um, it is the witching hour. It is the witching hour, and I see you guys as friends. I see you guys as friends, and this is a bit of a letting off steam. Not letting off steam, letting off, just just having a bit of, you know, three or four points in. Being polite, being as polite as I possibly can, but still letting off a bit of steam. I do apologize if you guys are bearing the brunt of my letting off a bit of steam, but on the other hand, it is a virtual pub, and I think in most pubs, these sorts, these sorts of things, that's what they're for, aren't they? Letting off a bit of steam. I'm going to have my final wee of the night. Oh, what's my favourite hobby in, in a pub? Snooker, pool, darts or cards or dominoes? Snooker. I love my snooker. I'm going for a wee. I'll be back now. Hundred and ninety people into the Stone Crow virtual pub. Thursday night Stone Crow. Yes, Jacob. Yes. Uh, you didn't wash your hands, Simon. And smell the mint sauce. <laughs> Ryan McKenzie. Uh, Would Lord of the Rings theme tune at full power? I know the name is. Or the Skyrim. Um, well. Blinder. 
fantastic set. Um, I have not got a single dab board in any of the pubs near me. It's mostly them ones where you can just eat and drink and dine in and socialise that way. Um, Teddy Griffiths, yes, he was. Right, okay. Um, what happened with Anna? I, I can see something was going on with Anna. Is she okay? Uh, Mr. Uzu would be good when you get out. Maybe if uh, your stereo was on. Mr. Uzu. Is it Mr. Oh, no, uh, Mr. Mr. D. What was that song? What was that one? Mr. Zendel, Mr. Mr. Yendel. What was that song? Mr. Wendell, Mr. Mr. Wendell. What was that one? Ah, uh, terrible when someone gets trolled. So I'm gonna, I, I live in Hampshire. Seriously, my wife wants to go to Bali for a long weekend. Is it worth it, mate? Not really, no, Ryan. Um, no, it's all right, it's all right. Anna, real old crap beer. I'm fine, thanks you, Simon. So if I, um, Anna, can I say I'm sorry if if people are, are, are being a bit trolly. I, I do apologise on 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 their behalf, on your behalf. I, I, do you know this is a pub? Come on, everybody, this is a pub. We're all meant to be here, having fun, drinking. Why, 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 why are we trolling? Come on, everybody. I know it's the internet. I know, I know it's very easy to do. And I know, I know like, <laughs> keyboard warriors, but why? Why? Come on, just go and get a pint. Enjoy, have fun, chill out, chill out. I don't run this thing. I don't run it for trolls. I don't run it, like, just be normal. People just, why don't people just be normal? Like, drives me bonkers. Just be normal. Can we just chill out? Like, any plans to visit the pubs and breweries of Stat? I'd love to, Mike the Saddler. Absolutely love to. You ever played any bar bill billiards in a pub? I haven't, no. I haven't. I'd like to. Doug Mountjoy. Oh, he was a good sneak up there, wasn't he? Anna's fine, says Ryan Ford. Uh, kitchen cupboard are looking good. Thank you very much, Jacob. Yes, John won Kenobi. Yes, Arrested Development. That was it. Wendell, that was it. Mark Williams has beaten Trump 10 4. Whoa. Do you know do you know what I found this afternoon while I was watching that? The commentators were so for Trump. What's his name, the old guy? Used to play in the 90s, 80s and 90s. Neil Folds or something. Neil was it Neil Folds? He's a commentator now for ITV. And he might as well have had Judd Trump parted like like literally sticking his head in. I, I couldn't understand it. I couldn't understand it for the life of me. Ne was it Neil Folds? Or, I, he, he might as well have, like, thinking about it. Yeah. 51, he's 48. <laughs> Need to get up to Yorkshire to see some proper pubs and breweries. Also consider you as a friend, Simon. Cheers and chill from Spain. Thank you very much. Meet us. Uh, Robinson's do tours, brewery, Stockport, home of Iron Maiden, Trooper Beer. Yep. Yep. On that note, how about Harrogate? Amazing town for pubs. The problem is, Simon, the internet has given trolls the problem to say things They'd never say to anyone's face, right, Mackenzie? That's right. That is, isn't that like totally right? Isn't that totally right? Do you uh, do you actually have people come over and go to the homeway pub? Jack McGrath. Um, not really. Not really. Uh. This used to be a bouncing place. Back. Early 2000s. 
This used to be empty. I, I used to, you know, pubs, clubs, that sort of thing. It's a lot of friends around. People always used to like to come here. Um, but like anything in life, and you, you know, like times change. I'm, I'm sure if anyone comes here in the future, you know, after I'm out of here and gone. It might be a bouncing place again, but I quite I, I like it quiet these days. I prefer it like the quieter the better. Which brewery would you delete if you had to delete one brewery from existence? Damn. Um A B Inbev. I would wipe, wipe them away. Carlsberg Marston's, another one. Yeah, just psh, stick it all back local. Local, regional breweries, little breweries everywhere. When a brewery has control over so much of the market... Well, they can make mistakes, can't they? What was the Bud Light thing? Nobody drinks Bud Light anymore, do they? Something went on. Some some rainbow thing. Heineken. Yeah, definitely Heineken. They did, didn't they do some rainbow campaign? Something. A, B and B. Um, Cause like. Bud Light. Miller, Miller, whatever it was, and, and and like literally, people just abandoned it. Literally overnight, they were like, "No, not having it, not having it." Um, but that's the problem, isn't it? When when one company becomes so big, and that one company's beers everywhere, they've only got to make one mistake, one mistake. And, you know, you might as well think they lost sales, but maybe it's coming back, says Dan. Best pub's got shut down. Miller Lite is like an American beer. Ryan Ford, no, I know, I know. Something went on in America last year, I can't quite remember. Uh, I have not drank Hobgoblin in a while. I don't know if its branding has changed much. It has, it's a bit rubbish now. The brandings, the brand, the old brand in a hobgoblin. You look at it, and you can see why people bought it. The branding was fantastic. They've like everything gets dumbed down in life. Yeah. <clears throat> Boring, like <sighs> hobgoblin, the original brewery with their beers. If somebody come along with that kind of like witches and wizards, witches and wizards type brewery thing like a like an Elden Ring type brewery with 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 wacky great hobgoblin figures and they stayed independent they would be amazing that kind of like fantasy it would do really 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 well it really would uh to put it on, on a can of Bud Light celebrating one of her and everyone went mental. Uh, the thing is, I don't understand any of that kind of stuff, John, if I'm honest. Um, I don't walk around with my eyes shut. I, I understand how life works. But at the same time, I think for a big company like Molson Coors, to get involved in that, like, they have to sell beer. It's again, it goes back, doesn't it, to that message, offering a message that people don't want to hear. People don't want to. I don't want to see Frank Butcher running over Janine whilst he's been drink driving. I don't need to see that message. 
if I wanted to see that sort of thing, I'd watch the Charlie Says stuff from the 1980s. Remember the train one, Don't Run On Train Lines? Remember the another one where they were flying the kites into the electric? It's just that. But I don't... And, and this is the thing. I don't need these messages. I don't need them. I really don't. I don't want them. I don't need them. I just want a bit of intelligence. I just want a bit of like, like, please don't push this stuff in my face. Like, I don't, I don't want it. I got a family member. It's making her quite ill. It's making her quite ill. It's the whole thing to do with, like, if you want to be a chair, you can become a chair. And and she's very much in agreement with that. But she's lost weight. She's not looking well. It's eating her up. It's consuming her. And I tried telling her at Christmas, as much as you care, as much as you care about what you believe in, about... She's my sister-in-law. About all these different rights that all these different people should have. You're not going to change anything. And this is what I tried to tell her. You're making yourself ill. You're making yourself really ill. Overthinking. It's literally like the moment she wakes up in the morning, she's thinking about like this stuff and all this, like. But I'm trying to tell her to live it. She's got to live her life as well. She has to live her life as well. She can't let this subject absolutely consume her to the point where she's like skipping meals and just like, you have to live your life, you really do. The thing is, uh, I think everyone is entitled to do what they want, but don't force others to believe what you do. The same as faith, you don't, you should be genuine about it and not forceful, yeah. Yeah. Um, Paul Greenwood, yeah, it's, it's, it's that sort of thing. It's that sort of thing, like, you know, but um, it's, it's, weird. It's, it's all to do with, like, i got to be careful. I've had a few pints, and this could go very wrong, couldn't it? This could go, like, this could go... <laughs> Paramatta, you know, it's that... Um, so we went to Pompeii. Some of you know we went to Pompeii a couple of months ago. And sister-in-law, other sister-in-law, father-in-law. They all got into a massive row. Father-in-law was trying to tell my sister-in-laws, just chill, man, just chill, just... And I and I I I I, went, I opened my mouth. I said something, and immediately, immediately, I was shut down as being ignorant. You're just ignorant if you if you don't care about. Because I, I basically said, live your life, live your life. Don't you worry about it. There's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do. And I, it, it, it was like, you know. You're ignorant. You're an ignorant, ignorant man. That's what I was called. An ignorant man. But my point is, I'm just, I'm laid back. I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm ignorant. I'm just laid back. Whatever's going on in this big planet we all live on, there's nothing I can do that can change anything. What can I do? There's nothing I can change, nothing I can do. I'm going to drink my beer. 
I'm going to drink my beer. I'm going to sit out in the sun. I'm going to enjoy my life. I'm going to relax. I'm going to run my YouTube. That sort of thing. I'm not going to worry about all of life, all of this stuff other people are into. I got another mate who's into massively, massively, massively into politics. Hugely, hugely into politics. And my argument with him is, what are you going to do? You can be interested in it as much as you like. You can chat about it as much as you like. You, you can, you can like, read all the articles about politics and you can get involved in elections and you can get stuff all that up and all of this stuff. What are you going to do? What are you going to do about it all? Nothing. You can't. You can't. So just sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride, as Ryanair says. Chill out. Chill out. Oh, so I got a bit all goes into an incinerator and all that for, uh, well, well, this is the thing. <laughs> this is the thing, yeah. Yeah. Uh, they need to do the... Ch <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, I'm sure Will Farrell said a line about Pompeii. I, sorry, I got the perfect YouTube channel for you. It's one of my favourites. Jim Mantov. His stuff is incredible. Bob. Bob, I'll have a look. They change plastic on four packs to some glue thing. That do you... What? Four pack. Oh, I see. I see uh, about the cans of beer being stuck together. Yeah. Uh, real, Anna, real crap here. That is very sad. She has to eat meals. Is she fighting for the right rights? Of others, I know it is an energy-consuming task, and much of it, it is Anna, exactly that. It's exactly that, Anna. And I love this woman to bits. She's, she's a brilliant woman. And even just a few years ago, she was a completely different person. She was free-spirited and young and, like, You're young, and you when you're young, you're like so free, and and everything becomes clouded, and everything becomes like. The best thing you can do. I find this, read the news you want to read, if it's football, if it's snooker, if it's if it's Formula One, if it's a little bit of pot, if it's if it's a little bit of, like grazing over the news. Unless you're given a, if you're given a position of power, accidentally, say I become, say I, that's, yes, big vid, say I become the prime minister. Then it's my, then it's my job. Then it's my job to care about all of these things. And all my hair would probably fall out and I go grey. And, but I'd, I'd do my best. I do my best. I, I try and do my... First thing I do, Rai High Shabbat. British Rai High Shabbat. British purity law in Bruin. And I would drop the tax in beer as low as Germany and the Czech Republic do. That would be my first thing that I would do. I, I'm almost sounding like I'm going for election year. Isn't it? But that would be my first thing I would do. I would annihilate the tax on beer in the UK. Not whiskey. Not rum, not wine, definitely not wine, because it's not really made here, is it? Tax the stuff that's not made here. Tax the wine. Comes from France, Spain, Australia. Tax that. Yeah, tax that. Beer. UK beer production. I wouldn't tax it. Well, it would, it would be incredibly low. And then I would worry about, and then I, and then I would worry about all of the other things. But, but, and this is the important but here. I'm not. I never will. I never will. I never. I never will. Be in a position of power. So I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to let it consume me.
Where to, Big Kev? Which one? Which one, Big Kev? Chris Littlewood? Yes, I get it. I get it, Chris Littlewood. But the point is, it's consuming. It's, it's all consuming. Grievous, yeah. Which I'm looking for this troll. Uh, love the Elvis flick, Simon. What's the future of the hair? Trying to change the subject. Oh, Big Kev's trying to change the subject. Right. Basically, Big Kev, this is a night of me rubbing my fingers through my hair whilst I'm drinking beer. <laughs> this is what it's all about, Big Kev. Do I care what I look like? Not one blooming jot do I. Cheers, Big Kev. Uh, what am I drinking? I am drinking a uh, Wald House. Wald, 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 Wald House pills. Yep. Yeah. Nearly emotion, John Yabsey. The Aldi British beers would be 50p under it. So, yes, exactly, Dan. Uh, Simon, are you in a position of power right now if you think about it? you got hundreds of people watching right now, drinking Brudo. Um, brain worker, am I in a position of power? No. Um, no, but, but I tell you what, I will tell you, last four live streams. Last four live streams, I've had to appeal. Yep. And probably, because of the subject of the last hour, I will probably have to appeal this live stream too. We are not in a position anymore with the normal man. And this is the thing, see? I may have a few thousand followers... You need to get another beer. I will, I will, I will. Maybe, maybe, I don't know what's the time. 20 to 10, oh, I'll have a headache. Um, the thing is, I have to go and write stuff in the morning, last four live streams. Yeah, Dan, exactly that. Yes, Big Kev, yeah. So I've had to, I've had to, I have to write stuff and I have to do things on the computer these days in the morning of the live stream, after the live stream, and I have to appeal. I have to appeal. I, I have to say that your robots, let's be fair, your robots have got the wrong end of the stick and I'm not a bad guy and I've not said nothing too crazy and will you please return my monetization and one out of the four was refused it was watched by a human being and it was refused the other three of the last four live streams were accepted, but one of them was refused. I don't know what I said. I don't think I said something too bonkers, did I? I don't generally do. But one of them, they refused it. And um, it's weird, isn't it? It's, I've talked about this over the last few live streams, and I, I, I've often said that, that um, yeah, Matt and Jay, all of that kind of stuff. Um, it was reviewed by a human being. Um, oh, you know, the, the, the biggest instinct... The trouble is...
if you go too far in the wrong direction, then you're very quickly labelled as like, oh, you're on, like, I get it. I think, I think things will change in the next, judging by what's going on in America right now, I think things will, you know, the whole stock flotation, if you, if, I'm talking in code now. I, I'm, I, I'm talking in code. Um, the whole stock flotation of the last two weeks, if you, if you think about that. Um, the, the name of that stock flotation i think these things in 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 progress i think i think things things will become more normal over the next four years it's going to take a bit of time um just freedom of saying what you want is i've got to be really careful here i've got to be really careful just just being yourself just being yourself, just be like, I shouldn't be, and I've done this, I've done this, haven't I? Over the last four weeks, I've gone, <laughs> and I've like tried to like tell you in code as, as uh, life shouldn't be like that, should it? Life really shouldn't be like that. It should be a case of like, you either believe me or you don't. You either believe what I'm saying or you don't. Don't like, BBC it. Don't BBC it. Don't like 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 a straight ball. No one's watching the BBC anymore because nobody really is on board with it. Anyway, I'm going to get myself into big, big... If I carry on, I'm going to get myself into big trouble. I I am going no I totally agree John totally agree I'm going to say good night at, at this stage I've drunk my beer I'm going to say good night um I got to be a bit careful I I can't just go I'd love to just go this is what I really feel and say but you're very quickly gone if I was to do that it'll all be over it would all be over. So I'm going to bear you all and wish you all a very good night. I'm going to say happy, hopefully, summer's around the corner and it's not going to rain anymore. And I'll see you all next week. Stone the Crows. Cheers.